Hello, the internet, Saffron here, back into Detroit Become Human. And now we're with Marcus again. We just did uh, our big now. speech it in the Stratford Tower in the last episode. They'll never negotiate with their so now we're we back at Jericho fight. discussing what to answer. do next. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Yeah, well, that's not always Simon a paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? They he's don't a hero. Know he's alive. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you. That's enough! And if Simon is still. Like, you can't have Simon at this point. And now what are we gonna and do? And if that's the case, he actually breaks up the fight. Just a little thing to throw in there. Marcus has new clothes now, too. Okay, now. There are five cyber life stores across Now we get to cause some havoc. Like merchandise. And this can go one of three ways. It can go Attack stores? very good. No, we've never done you can before. fail and just, they have security you know, if you piss around for ten minutes, and then, five kids, then that would be complete failure. Hack their security systems, or you can make this very, very bad. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. Well, Marcus, we're just going to keep people, it get them out of there before the police good. come. This is a night our people will remember. There is some stuff I'm still missing from this flowchart, too. There's a couple items, but I'm not going to go into it. I've been waiting a long time for this. In the uh, playthrough here. Just because I don't want to be pissing around with Marcus's line too much. But if I get spotted by the cops here, there's a couple things you can do. And I think the one thing I haven't done yet is just run. And of course, things aren't going to end well if that happens. So, we're just going to leave it like this and just go okay, through the gone. chapter. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be. This careful. is a pretty lengthy chapter, also. There's a lot that needs to get done. Because first off, the we go over, over here. here to the Cyber Life store. We have to check that out because there's security on it. Can't just break in. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Well, that's Soon they'll technically what you were built for. <laughs> Let's get them out. Well, we'll stick to you know, the it's like going into a Neutralize clothing store. Well, that's what it is, is clothing. Ten minutes until all our teams attack. The time people didn't know you had to think for yourself. Imagine that if clothes just started to be sentient. That could be T-shirt starts talking to system? you. I don't know what the hell is going on about this morning. <laughs> it's way too early. I'm a little tired. Found it. All right. So okay, we'll find the alarm here. There's one other thing. I th oh maybe that's it. Because you can analyze, like, the lattice work also. But apparently since I've got the network right away, we don't need to worry about that. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. I do believe... Oh, here, let's just start converting androids. You're free. Okay, I do believe... Show. Yes, to I've got to take care of the this guy first. Let's get rid of him. And uh, I'm just gonna go through the route. Fast forward through here. And I know right where I need to go, so I'm just gonna go right to it. And this again, you can fail at this. And uh, you kind of get mocked for it. It's like, damn it, it's just a, you know, drone. How come you couldn't take care of it? All right, we got another pre-construct. So, let's go. Oh, I gotta take that step first. Go over here. We go up here, because there's always one more. Okay. And then we just execute it. Parkour Marcus. 
And we have this in. This happens like three times throughout the game. Again. You know, now that I think about it, a lot of this stuff is kind of repetitive. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. They do a good a job of, you know, making it seem like it's not, you know, not the same thing, but it, it, it is. Right, we need to block the road. Well, we'll get over there. That's where the security connection is. So we'll get that in a moment. We don't want anybody driving down the road. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Down here to this android. The, these, these androids. Well, come on. Thank you. I just, oh. Mark it! All right. What? I'm busy. Converting these androids. Apparently through their clothes. Now come here and help me move this thing. Oh, or not. Come here and watch me move this thing. She hacks the sign. So they are road closed. There. Nobody should bother That's us. That's done. So now we gotta still deactivate the network. Here, let's convert some more androids. Why not? We'll have a whole army. You are free. And then. We have the statue up here. Okay, there's the androids here shoveling too. I can convert them. Why not? You're awake now. Go to Jericho. What if they don't want to? Um, <laughs> there's still a couple things to look at. I'm not gonna... Oh! We're supposed to be taking care of the security network. Buggers. <laughs> I got distracted by converting androids. Well, here, you're right there. Let's take care of you. You are free. Now you can do whatever you want. Apparently it's not shoveling, which I don't blame you. I don't like shoveling either. I live in a cold weather state. It sucks. You get three feet of snow in one day. Although, we do have a snowblower. Like I said, if you're living, you're living up here, you need a bloody snowblower. But you still gotta shovel the little spots the snowblower doesn't fit. And then we have neighbors like right next to us, so we don't want to blow snow on their house. So you gotta be careful. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Oh, the one guy that moved in next to us—they didn't care. They had snow blowing all across my window. I'm like, if they bust that, I'll be so mad. You know, I always say I want to move to like a bigger city, but then I think about how close people are here. And it annoys the piss out of me. I just like the convenience. If I need milk, I can go across the street and get milk. I ain't gotta drive 20 minutes. Nice job, Marcus. Looks okay. Like the plaza secure. So we got now all that taken care of. Store. Now we, we come to the fun stuff. That. We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. We need to find a truck. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Yes, how convenient. There's construction work right here. Alright, let me come over here. Yeah, okay, we saw the truck. Yeah, let, let me in. Hi, North. Get out of my way. Wow, this, she has like a big hit button. How come? What the hell? What am I missing here? Do I really? Nah. There it is. I had to look through that little itty spot. I know where to go. Just let me do it. I come over here. What are we waiting? Can't for? get that open. And it doesn't look like the lock 
Like, it doesn't even look like it has a hole for a key. So I don't know what kind of lock that is. Maybe it's wire. Maybe they have wireless padlocks in the future. So let's. Okay, now we're the, in. And here is two. Is, truck out. Okay, we'll get the truck. Oh, the R1s and L1s again. See, and I don't like if androids don't have handprints. How are they getting that open? You do without me. It's it doesn't make sense. There is no logic in this place. Oops, what was I doing? Oh, she tossed me wire. You were standing right there, North. Why didn't you just open it? Make me do it. And it doesn't look like they cut that padlock at all. It just kind of fell off. It got tired. It's like, ugh. I can't do this anymore. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Huzzah! And at first I thought you had to control this. You don't. You just hit the R2 button and let Marcus do his thing. Which, once again, this is also a repetit repetitive thing. Because there's the way back at the cyber life factory in like the second or third chapter you can steal a truck full of parts and that's it, almost exactly what you do you just and drive around like one corner fun. and then it's good but i mean it makes it i guess it's just like an animation if you can reuse assets why not it's a lot of work and i'm sure it just you know it saves costs and corners and all that. And if you can do it without making it look stupid obvious, there you go. All right, now we're going to recruit some more androids. Everybody's joining the party whether they want to or not. And it makes you wonder though too, you know, Marcus is converting them. You and I've said this, you know, if they want to be converted or not. But they all just are suddenly like, let's follow Marcus. So is he... You know, infecting them to think like that? You know, is there something that he is doing to make them suddenly just all agreeable with him? Is he starting a cult? Could be starting a cult. Now as we look at the other Tracy model. Which makes North be like, eh. North, you okay? And I don't, I don't exactly know why they're all called Tracy. It doesn't seem to stand for anything. I guess maybe it was just because none of the androids seem to have like a specific name, but all of the perfect mates or partners seem to be Tracys. You know, even in the Eden Club, the guys and the girls were all Tracy models. And that's in the extras also. Speech time. Again. Marcus does lots of speaky speakies. My name is Marcus. Hi. Just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey. And I like his jacket too. It's but got then excessive I chose zippers. To open my eyes. To take back so does North's outfit. She has all sorts of like extra zippers I and it's like to why? Be. But I don't know, I think now that's I have come to tell you that you Nomura did that a lot. Can be your own master. If you look at like if you, know, you, you don't have to obey them anymore. From this, a lot of the forward, characters you have can walk accessories. with your heads held high. I think it looks You can take your destiny in your hands. Un impractical Jericho and is a place whatever, for those of us me. who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them. Or you can come with us. And fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. You're free to follow me. Everybody's on board with that. I'm with you. 
We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. All right. I'm with you. And now this is where things can go okay, or they can go really, really bad. Then follow me. So Marcus, we gotta, what are you doing? I'm gonna we're send. We do something in the park. We can be either pacifist or violent. So we can either cause a riot or we can just vandalize everything. They're doing what you And even then it's not like lead and they'll follow. Like bad vandalism. You know, it's it's kind of the equivalent of graffiti. I mean, you're really not hurting anything. Just kind of making a mess. And two, you can send a a weak message or a strong message depending on how much stuff you change or vandalize. Oh, come on. We're gonna tag the statue. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, and touch pads. Although I don't know where they got all the graffiti guns. I mean, were they expecting this? Let's bring all these guns because we're going to convert all these androids and we don't need masters spray anymore. digital graffiti we're free. everywhere. Pulled him out of his bum. Alright, what else can we do? We can do lots of things. Uh, let's do this. We will hijack the screen. We have to we have his hijack all the screens. The hijack that there and all those. Um, whoa, come on. Overload this. Um, I did I'm not even Oh dang it, wrong buttons again. I'm like, I'm not even pushing anything. Don't be doing that. There. Got that. Mess with the street lights. Either black it out or hack it. I hit the wrong button. I still don't know my left and my right. I don't know. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that. We got these here. Um, there's got to be a better way to get those androids out of there because they have that break option, and I don't like doing that. But the androids clearly don't want to be in there. They see what's going on. Apparently they're deviant without Martin touching them. Okay. What else can we do? Yeah, because that puts a little... Oh, oh, oh. Um, we gotta climb the building. Because we can just do that. Because we're Parkour Marcus. North comes with you too. She can apparently just parkour. Okay. Whoop. So we got these also. So clearly, this was all planned from the beginning. There was no impromptu park thing. We did it! Climb back down. Can do something with the car. Whoops. Let's not upturn it. That would be bad. People don't like it when you turn their cars over. You can't get anywhere. Although I guess I don't understand. I mean, you know, pushing them into the road is... Oh! Uh, smoke bomb. Sure. This is actually considered pacifist also. Although, you can go further, and at one point, North will offer you a Molotov cocktail. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That makes a mess. 
Although that is one of the things I'm missing because if you do the violent route, you start setting stuff on fire. There's an item I have missed that I apparently haven't started on fire yet. Start cars on fire, start a dumpster on fire. We freed hundreds of our people. There was something I was missing. They're coming. And I still don't know what it is. And I could have probably tried on this playthrough. I'll, I don't know. I'll do it by myself. I'll find it at some point. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Yeah. Unless there's no See? other choice. See? Can't fight violence with violence. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, so yeah, this, please show up no matter what. And this next scene also happens no matter what. So if you're pacifist or violent, uh, then this happens. You come over here and you find a bunch of slaughtered androids. Including the Tracy model. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Yeah, who did? Going back to the cinema sins, play the pronoun game. It's like, who would it be? You heard the police sirens. Poor androids enjoyed their 10 minutes of life. They killed All right, people, Marcus. so yeah, so here we have- Justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You can go three ways with this, but it only has two outcomes. You can either shoot them, spare them, or you leave it up to the other deviants. If you spare them, that's fine, but if you do the other two options, they're dead. Nine for nine, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. There. Hope you guys all learn something from that. It's not nice. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This oh, now we have the news report exactly about 2 news travels life stores in Detroit even faster 20 years ago. Different locations now. were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti Yay. was found in the neighborhoods of Cyberlife stores. See, yeah, that's the thing, because I'm trying to do it that way, because I have to keep public opinion in, of in my favor. One of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Well, considering all they did was graffiti a park. All right, yeah, so here we have our flow chart. And right here, there's the one thing, because you have all of those, but I'm missing the one item in that burn list. Then we come all the way back here. And yes, that's when the police car arrives. You have the three options. I haven't done that third one yet. And I could still do it. I'll probably go back and do it since I'm at this chapter anyway. But, you know, that's just the few items that I am missing. Yeah, but otherwise, you know, that's... You have Marcus failed, he led a violent riot or a peaceful protest. Hooray. Although here might be an ending also. But, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't done it yet. So, but otherwise, we are going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later. Uh, Siri, I'm not talking to you. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny, because, yeah, I was just, Siri just went off, and suddenly there's all sorts of stuff about Detroit becoming human on my phone. Shut up, Siri. I wasn't talking to you.